Okay guys, welcome to the very first video of what will be a new series called Opinions with Stevie. Uh so for, so yeah, this is um this is the first episode of Opinions with Stevie. Um what do you think of the uh, the thing I did? I've I, I, it took me a while to, to uh, try and figure out how to do that. Uh, so if you guys like it, I'll keep it. But, you know, uh, say something in the comment section below. If you don't like it, then uh, I won't keep it. It's uh, fairly simple. But, uh, just a quick thing about the gameplay. Uh, I'm playing Domination on Uplink on Black Ops 2. Uh, I'll g the, we end the game 200 to 79. And I go 37 to 15 and I'm quick scooping and I get a, a quad feed. It's like a split five man and a very split six man. So, yeah, it's, I do pretty well in it. Yeah, so, um, but we're just going to, the first topic that we're, we're going to talk about um, in this series of, of videos is game developers. Um, and mainly their preference to next game uh, next gen game consoles over last gen uh, so for example a lot of games that come out on uh, well I guess it's current gen now Xbox One, PS4 um, they, they they just don't have the same well, they have more features than last gen like Xbox 360, uh, PS3 and then they charge more for it. Like when a when an Xbox 360 game came out, it'd usually be about, be about between 35 to 50 quid, like 50 at a stretch. I've never actually seen an Xbox 360 game come out for 50 quid. It's like 45 was usually the mo the maximum. Uh, now Xbox One games come out and they're about 45 quid minimum, 50, 50 to 55 quid on the average. And it's like you're, you're you're still paying, and 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 the prices of the last gen consoles have like, risen as well, because it's like, uh, wait, uh, I bought Titanfall for like forty three quid, and it's fairly crap, really. You don't get much to do on it. Like all it is is multiplayer, and then that's it. There's no campaign behind it. There's no now there's a survival mode, which is, which is quite nice. Frontier Defense. I've been playing a lot of that with Dominic recently, but getting off topic. Um, right, Watch Dogs. Like, the main reason I bought Watch Dogs on 360, other than the fact I didn't have an Xbox One, was so I could, I could play Free Roam with Dominic. You couldn't even do that. You couldn't even, to start with, you couldn't even play uh, with friends. I had to do matchmaking. And it's like, well. Okay then, that's that's not why I bought the game. Because uh, it's, I, I bought it so I could play with friends, and there's no function. The only functionality was on 360 was races. It's the only thing you could create a custom match for. Not really what I wanted. Ah, my tongue is really sore because it's like I got ulcers and cut like tiny cuts along the edge of it, like the front edge, and it's really sore. Again, off topic. But, but it's like they charge me uh, forty-seven quid for Watch Dogs, forty-seven whole pounds, and I don't even have half the functionality that the Xbox One version had, which was like fifty quid. Uh, they shouldn't be charging you that kind of that kind of prices for games that haven't got all the functionality. Oh, great, car horns. Like, I, if I if if I wanted to part, buy a game that had none of the functionalities of uh, what I wanted, I'd buy a game for like Nintendo 64 or something. Because then I wouldn't be able to play online. Uh, I wouldn't be able to save my games. Um, oh no, some games like you could save on it on Nintendo 64. But anyway, off topic. It's like, they shouldn't be charging you that kind of prices if. I haven't got all the features in this. To be fair, they shouldn't be charging you that kind of prices anyway, but it's like, they know people are going to buy them, obviously. Um, so it's like, oh, you know what, let's uh, up the price a bit, and then a bit more. 
and a bit more. And we'll keep up in the price uh, every so often. Ah, it just really annoys me that people, like, and it's not like we can boycott it either because people will still buy them. Like, oh, we'll boycott it for like five days and then nothing will happen. And we'll, then we'll go back to buying them at stupid prices. It just annoys me. But uh, another another game, another thing that game developers do is uh, this is like they, they find something that that works uh, in one game. Like, I, I'm 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 thinking mainly Assassin's Creed at the moment here um, because like Assassin's Creed One, pretty terrible. Like most people agree, like the gameplay on it wasn't the best. And then they improved it a whole lot on Assassin's Creed 2, which was great. You know, they, they added more features. You could swim. That was a big change. In Assassin's Creed 1, you touch the water and you're dead. They synchronized. Gone. Assassin's Creed 2, you could buy things. You could swim. They had all these new functions. And they changed the UI and it looked a lot better and it was great. And then they changed it again in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, which wasn't good. All right. In Assassin's Creed 2, you could travel to all these different places, and you could travel around all the all these different cities. You could go to like, the open world cities. You could. But in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, all you had was Rome. That was it. You can't go anywhere. And then Revelations was similar, because all you had was uh, Istanbul. Um, and then Assassin's Creed, and they kept changing the UI, and like how the game worked and there wasn't enough changes to make it a good there weren't good changes they were just pretty crappy ones and, and then like Assassin's Creed 3 they added more features and they were they were good features but the gameplay and the story was fairly fairly bad so it's not talking about that and then Assassin's Creed 4 who uh, we can't even say oh, okay park all with a bit off they added so many new features I mean you, you captained uh, a ship. You were pirates. You had like the entire Caribbean, well, not the entire Caribbean, but a massive chunk of the Caribbean to explore, and it was just insanely great. And then in Assassin's Creed Unity, they kind of fuck shit up there. Let's, let's not talk about that. Um, because there was there was a fair few things wrong with Assassin's Creed Unity. Um, but yeah, it's like people, like they find developers, they find, they, they make a formula for a game of all the right things. Like the UI looks great, uh, the HUD looks great, the, the gameplay is great, they've got a great storyline, like the um, like multiplayer is great, all of this, everything is great. There's like a few niggles and a few glitches, but overall it's great. And then with the next instalment, they've completely forgotten everything that they've done there and scrapped it and said, completely forgotten about it and just made new stuff up. It's ridiculous. Uh, but we are drawing to a, uh, a close on this video. Uh, so I ha hope you have enjoyed the first episode of Opinions with Stevie. Uh, this was quite a, 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 a lenient one, a, a small problem. But yeah, don't forget everything you need to know is, as always, in the description below. I've been Stevie, you've been subscribers, peace.